first preliminary final this Friday night at the SCG 7.40 p.m. The Sydney Swans, the Port Adelaide Plower. This is going to be a battle for the ages. And in my humble opinion, it will be the closest preliminary final we will have this season. The Port Adelaide Power was sensational last week against Hawthorne. And two weeks ago, the Swans came back and stole victory from the jaws of defeat against the GWS, who fell asleep in the back half of the game. And as we saw, it happened last week as well. The interesting fact about these two teams is that Sydney have not beaten Port Adelaide since 2012. Is that going to change this year? All will be revealed very shortly. So when we look at these two teams, it is a tale of two cities. The Sydney Swans love to chip the ball around, have that ball in their hands and work it around the field, where Port Adelaide have been sensational from a defensive perspective. Outside of their blowout game against the Cats a couple of weeks ago, they've been averaging their opponents 70 points in the back half of 2024. The biggest out, though, is not having Farrell and not having Houston there is going to stop the Port Adelaide power going through the middle of the ground. They love to do that. They're going to, I reckon, do what they did last week against Hawthorne, which is be a little bit more controlled around the outside of the ground and then bring the ball towards their mids and then into their forward line. Georgiades was absolutely brilliant last week. I love what Willie Rioli did. And Asava Radagalia, all we need to see from him is to see him hit the packs hard and make a contest, bring the ball to ground, and then that Port Adelaide midfield will be able to swoop in and hopefully kick a big score. From Sydney's perspective, you've got the Holy Trinity. You've got Heaney, you've got Goulden, and you've got Warner. Don't forget Road Bottom as well. They've got many, many options that run through the middle. Brody Grundy was in all Australian form this year. And James Jordan, since he's come across from Melbourne, has been spectacular in a tagging role. And I'm expecting him, if I was coaching Port Adelaide, to go straight to Butters. Butters is the most dangerous player in Port Adelaide's team. And you've got to quell his influence as much as possible. Not just from a uh, ball use perspective, but an inspirational perspective. We've known that he's had bad ribs for a couple of weeks now. And we saw how inspirational he was to his team. So if Jordan can quell his influence... It's going to allow Sydney to get on top and hopefully win the game. If I was coaching the Port LA Power, I would be sending Willem Drew straight over to Chad Warner. He was dominant a couple of weeks ago against GWS, 27 possessions, but it was his run and carry and speed through the middle of the ground that caught the GWS out and got the ball deep into their forward line. Drew can sit with him, make sure that he doesn't get out by himself, which means that Heaney, Rowbottom, Goulden will may have to squeeze themselves back into the contest a little bit more to extract it rather than being the receiver. The other thing that I would do is get Sweet to smash into Grundy at every single contest. Grundy, we know is not the greatest Ruckman, but he's around the groundwork is exceptional. But a beat up body will make it very, very difficult for him to get from contest to contest. And we know that he'll be able to take Sweet out with his athletic capacity. So Sweet, all he needs to do is jump into him, hit him as hard as possible, and hopefully take Grundy off his game. All I can say is that this game is going to be an absolute belter. And I'm putting a tip in here that I have not done in the seven years that I've been running Lace Out. This game will be a tie at full time. Yes, that's how close I think this game will be, and it will go into overtime. And then Sydney, just with that little bit of extra rest, take the game out by no more than 12 points. So yes, we're going into overtime and the Swans are going to take this one out by 12 points and go into another grand final. And that means we are going to have a repeat of the 2022 grand final with the Swans and with the Geelong Cats. So what do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Am I on the ball or am I so far off it? Leave a comment and make sure that you like and subscribe. Ring the bell because here at Lace Out, we give you your footy just how you want it. Lace Out style. And I'll be bringing my tips for next week's grand final this time next week as well.